Hey guys, this is Savi Hacking from HackingSAP.com and Interdubs. And today we're gonna look at something special in SAP Analytics Cloud. We're gonna have a look at Roambi, which is one of the mobile BI solutions from SAP. Well, actually Roambi is one of the first mobile apps for business that were uh, that was released for the iPhone, I think over 10 years ago already. So initially it was a, an app or a tool where you could upload your own data from an Excel or a flat file or something and build a very easy to use mobile BI application on top of that. So later on they also integrated with uh, web intelligence and other yeah, more live tools. And I think two years ago SAP bought Romi and started the integration of this tool within um, the SAP Analytics Cloud. So Romi has its own app. So if you go to the Apple App Store and you search for SAP Analytics Cloud, then you will see well at least two apps here. So we have the SAP Analytics Cloud app. And in addition, we also have an SAP Analytics Cloud Romi app. So with this Romi app, you can also still connect to the, well, I want, don't want to say legacy, but the, the older version of Romy.com. But in addition, we can also connect to our SAP Analytics Cloud tenants. So the things that I'm going to show you now, they are all preview, so this hasn't been released yet. It's also quite limited what we can do, but at least it gives you an idea of what the tool is about and what we can do with it. So what we'll see in Romi is that we'll get a very easy way to mobilize data with this solution. On the other side, it's also extremely standardized. So we're gonna use templates that are not really flexible. We won't have many options to tweak and adjust and change stuff in the apps, but the advantage of that is that the user experience is extremely good. It works extremely fast and it's extremely easy to use. So for specific scenarios where you need fast usage on very simple and straightforward reporting solutions, the Romi app could be a good alternative to the SB Analytics Cloud app where you can view the stories. So let's have a look how this works and how we can set up such a Romi within the SAP Analytics Cloud environment. So from the menu here, we now have also options to create a Romi. So if I do that, then I'm taken to this, let's add some data screen. So the only option that I have here is click on the plus. And here I can choose my data model. So I'm gonna choose a data model about some car sales and the next step is that I have to choose a view. So these are the templates I am talking about. I was talking about. So currently I can only use the pulse template, which is a template that contains well, a setup to show several KPIs next to each other. There are also other templates coming soon. For example, this uh, card view where you can create your dashboard. There is a layers view which gives you um, a very detailed table that you can look into. And today, yeah, we only have the option to look into polls. So let's have a look on this one. So I'm gonna click use this view. So here in the middle, I see an, uh, an iPad. I can also switch to a different device, for example, a phone, and I also can change the direction of the screen like this and on the right side there are my settings for this Romi document so let's turn the iPad once more so the thing with these Romi templates is that you really have to find out for yourself how the templates work and what actually happens when you bind a dimension or measure to the parts in the template because you don't see what happens in the template here in the preview mode in, in SAP Analytics Cloud, so in the browser. So you really have to go to the app to see that. And also you cannot interact with it 
in the preview mode. So also that you have to do in the in the app itself. Well, each template works in its own way. So for example, this template here, we have a chart here on top and then a table below it and some KPI tiles here on the right side. So let's start with the first one. So let's add a dimension here to the chart. So I'm gonna add the dimension month to this chart because I want to see the data over time. By the way, this is just dummy data. So you're not, it's not populating this with data from my model. The second one, this is also, this, this is a table. And here I want to choose the brands for the cars. And what we will see in the app in a few minutes is that we can use this table and by the way, also the chart to make filters, to set filters. So we can switch between brands and see then the other charts in the app change. Well, we have now two dimensions, but we also need some measures. So let's click here on this KPI tile and I'm gonna compare data from 2018 with data from 2017. And I can also indicate a threshold here. So when should it be green or when should, should it be red? Okay, well, I can do that for multiple measures here. So I can also do this for, for example, profit. Let's also make a comparison there. There are also some options here in the formula. So uh, here we can select how um, the threshold should work. Well, let's give it a percent here. Okay. And on my second tab, I can also um, fill in some filters. So I can put in a filter that I want to have applied on the whole report. Well, in this case, let's, let's keep that blank. And I can add a filter that the user can change in the report itself. So let's also choose something in here. Let's choose um, the color. Okay, done. And that's it. So that's the setup of my Rombi. The only thing that I need to do here is save it. Uh, my first Rombi. Let's store it. And now let's switch to the mobile app. So I'm gonna go in the iPhone now. Here we go, I'm gonna open the app. And here I can browse in my SAP Analytics Cloud folder structure. So I also have my public folders here, but I just saved this document in my private folder. So I can tab it to download. So it's now downloading the app that I just created. I'm gonna open it here. Well, because we set a filter on the colors, it picks the, the, the first value as a default. And in my data set, there's not really much data for this color. So let's put this on gray, for example. And as you can see now, my two KPIs are populated here on top. So I can switch between the two KPIs and then also the results at the bottom of the screen will change. So to make that a bit more clear, I'm gonna drag this a bit up. And as you can see, I can scroll down the list of brands from the table. On the right side of the table, you also see some green and red bars. These are the bars are displaying the values that we have for the measure that I just selected. So I'm selecting the sales for 2018 and it's being compared with the sales of 2017. So that's the difference that we see here in the table with the red and green bars. I can also sort it by clicking on the table header. So I'm now sorting it 
and you can see Volkswagen and has the biggest sales um, for 2018. I can also see the chart by month if I double tap here on my first KPI. So then I see this chart and if I turn the screen it zooms in to this chart here and I can now just tap on the screen and change each, each bar um, yeah, to see the results. So the bars are the months and I can browse through them by selecting and uh, looking at the different values here. So what we see here, for example, so for this, um, for the sixth month here, we see that we have sales of about uh, 58 million for this year. For last year, it was 51 million. There's a variation of plus 6.8. And that's 113% of the results of last year. So if I double tap this again, then I can go to the other measures, the other KPI. I can double tap that and here I can do the same. And as you can see, if I switch to a different month, so for example, if I go to January, also my results here in the table change. If I scroll through the table, then also my monthly chart is adjusted. So as you can see, a very quick way to create a report, it's very fast in, in, in uh, using it on, on the iPhone. Um, well, we only have to create such a ROM we want. It's, it's responsive for iPhone and iPad and probably in the future also for Android. Okay, so that's a quick introduction on Roambi. See you next time. Bye bye.